<laughs> make it, no, stop. Make it stop. Dude, try that. Give that a whirl. It's like the shake weight times 50. Cardinal coffee. We are back on site this morning, and today is the time we're gonna start painting this house, buddy. <laughs> no! So I'm gonna go and get you loosened Dude, up. Dude, it's too cold. Look at the go. weather. It's raining. You brought all your tools like you were gonna frame today. You got it all organized. You even got your Perkins Builder Belt set up, all your construction tools, but all you needed was your paintbrush. <laughs> I don't own one of those. Look okay, do you see a paintbrush anywhere? I, I don't. I brought a really nice paintbrush. Hey, Don't's peanut mommy. gallery. Zip there you it. go. <laughs> Zip it, peanut gallery. Let's get going. Hurry up, dude, he needs the part. <laughs> So on a serious note, Ray did the ultimate thing to get out of painting today, which was almost die of, uh, what was it? Diabetic ketoacidosis. Yeah, he had a throw up virus. And then next thing he knew, he was in really bad shape, drove himself to the ER. They put him in an ambulance, took him to int intensive care, and he's been there for two days. So we may have to go get him today, but he is alive and he's okay. Sometimes it's easier. You actually don't even have to play offense. You just worry about what your defense. Long arms out there. <laughs> <laughs> My little T-Rex arms are like. <laughs> We're trying to do about a ten-point turn with this, with this walk board through the woods. And uh, yep, I think we almost got it now. Oh my gosh! I'm like literally getting wrapped up in briars here. Oh, we might have to put up this third brace, Jay. That's why I was thinking three braces. This is more than 24 feet out to that end. Son of a... Got some crazy cuts on our corner board here that's gonna go up and around and over the deck and around this bracket. So we're gonna test fit before we seal everything with some Lexel and make sure it looks good. Is that gonna work on the bracket? Looks pretty good to me. Okay. Someone's gonna look at all these cuts at some point and be like, they didn't even seal the cut. No, we sealed it all right. it's clear. <laughs> Isn't this Ray's job? Yeah, Ray's in the hospital. So. That's a bull crap <laughs> excuse. <laughs> I sent out a text message last night of Ray, his picture in the hospital bed. I said, Ray's out tomorrow, dot, dot, dot. And Jason replied, that's <laughs> looks fine. <laughs> With Ray on the text string. And then Arlo was like, that's pretty extreme to get out of painting. Yeah, <laughs> no sympathy. <laughs> I'm not saying what I said. Throwing. This Throwing. isn't a normal thing to install siding without sheathing to a surface like this, just straight to the studs, but that's what we're doing. Jamie doesn't want to make this thicker for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know. And what's going on in the inside? Siding. Same thing? Yeah, but we got to wait and let them run wiring or whatever receptacles they want oh, okay. before we cover it up. I That'd think she should treat. do the... Uh... The big panels. Panels? Like, instead of doing the lap, she should do the oh. big solid piece. Ooh. What if we did the uh, panels like we did on the basement on the inside of this so it did look panel like siding? I would like that. Yeah. Wow, Jason. You're welcome. This section out here is 10 feet, so we can get 20 footers, cut them in half. Okay. Not bad. Okay. This next section, 13 feet. We could get 16s, and it's not that much waste. Okay. Next section, 18 feet. Get 20s. We could get 20s. That's I'm okay. I'm not going to cry about that. We're trying to decide on the decking, what we're going to do as far as sections of deck or doing butt joints and going the whole length. Definitely doing it in sections to me looks way better but sometimes there's too much waste and you just can't do it. Number! What are you doing? <laughs> He's using my entire truck as a footrest. That'll do it. I was just emailing Sashko. Mm. They're pretty stoked these days, you know? They're always stoked. 
says thank you for real a lot seriously wow yeah and that's there's les and, and charlotte yeah and uh, i don't know those two guys i'm sure they're great wow. good, great guys though i guess well, we had a good year i think so we are going to be wrapping up the siding that we can do for now in just a minute but it's always worth a mention in every video series this cut station that we're using for long material that's not necessarily super rigid is really nice it keeps it elevated keeps it flat you can cut it anywhere without it binding so for instance if i just had two saw horses here obviously it would be kind of droopy in the middle and if you cut it in the middle obviously it would bind so this little setup here makes everything easier and faster and more accurate on the cuts What do you think of the belt? Now, I'm not paying you to say anything. I mean, no, I'm man. paying you to put up boards, but. I will be honest. At my first thought, like seeing you guys wearing them, I was very skeptical, but I really do like it. Okay, good. I do. It's super comfortable. Appreciate the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's super comfortable and I have it like pretty tight and snug yeah. and high up on my waist, which is nice. Cause sometimes you get them where you can't even reach into your pouch. Yeah. You know, to grab your screws. Dude, this right here, <laughs> I'm telling you, is a freaking game changer. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, comfortable. No, I like it. It's good. It's got to get broken. You know, the pouches are kind of still new new in the box. <laughs> you know, once they get kind of opened up and you're reaching in them a lot. But they got tons of space. Lots of room for all my nail pulls. You know, I need a lot of those. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to so, let you try my little pouch here. See what you think. Okay. And then we got you a hook. That's yeah. a prototype here mm -hmm. for your drill. I like that. Do you? Yeah, no, I do. I've already been using it. My drill's up there. I'm but... literally using you as a guinea pig right now. <laughs> Perfect. No, I like it. I mean, I was gonna, it's going to take a while for my muscle to... Get strong enough to lift muscle. your drill. <laughs> I look like muscle memory there. Muscle yeah. memory to put my drill okay, back there is what go. I was saying. There you go. I was on the phone with one of the managers at the hardware store trying to find some copper roll flashing. Mm. Did you notice it's not on the shelf anywhere now? I tried to buy it at Lowe's. Yep. Where is it? Yeah. I even went to a really big place and they didn't have it. So... Um, I think it's simply because of the cost of copper roll flashing that most people don't stock it now. A roll that's 14 inches tall, 25 feet long, guess the price. I don't even know. I mean, a hundred bucks. Four hundred fifty dollars. Oh <laughs> what? Four fifty. For 25 feet. Yes, 25 feet. <laughs> I was like, oh wow. So I really want to cap the ends of these fur overhang pieces so they don't get any weather. Copper was my first choice. I may have to consider the second choice, which would be aluminum painted, you know, black or white or whatever color I can get, brown maybe. So I got to tell Rommel. I like the way copper bends though. It just I know. bends easy. I really do want to use the copper. I was hoping somebody would just have a roll laying around somewhere. Maybe yeah, Arlo right. does, you know. I could offer him like 50 bucks for the roll <laughs> and then turn around and go sell it. No, I don't know. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Did they, they have it though. They can get it. I think one roll would do it all. I think so too. That's a lot of money. It would look good. It'd be the right material. I don't know. Hey, uh, Ray just texted me. He said he's probably need picked up here. Seriously? Within an hour or two. No. So, uh, about, uh, I don't know if we're gonna draw straws, but it's like a two hour round trip drive. Oh yeah, I think I think we just drew the straw right here. Yeah, we know bing, who's bing, going. bing, 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 bing. <laughs> you wanna get Ray if he needs picked up? Bring him back to town? Yeah. Okay. Jamie's heading out after Ray. He's getting discharged. He said he'll be at the hospital somewhere. Okay. Can you not reach it? No, I can't reach it. Shut up, long arms. Jono figured out how to sound like he's really, really working hard, even if he's not. Dude, I might be showing Do my it age. again, Jono. <laughs> quick Shh. Shh. quick hurt? make it like you're working today's video is brought to you by vever tools and today i am checking out their gas powered pressure washer and this is something i've never had and i've always wanted you know i'm happy for you because you've been borrowing mine a little too much <laughs> i was gonna have to confront you about for it for like a decade yeah been borrowing his so let me tell you about the one that i just got because it's pretty awesome 
This pressure washer came with a seven horsepower engine. That's right, seven. That's which a lot. Is a lot. And it also had five different spray tips, a zero degree, 15 degree, 25 degree, 40 degree, and a soap tip. And it has a nice place to store them all. It also came with a hose and a filter so that I could run out of a non-pressurized like water bucket, which is a really great thing for a job site where we don't always have pressurized water. That is very cool. I always wondered what you would do if you didn't have water pressure. Yep. It's got it. Do. Got it figured out. Cool. It also has a really nice steel frame and 10 inch wheels so I can get around easy. And of course you don't need a power outlet because it's gas powered. And the really amazing part about this pressure washer and the reason I've really never owned one was the high cost. This pressure washer, believe it or not, $289.99, which I don't know. Is that about half of I think you pay so. for yours? It is. And at that price, you may as well just buy two because your buddy's going to want to borrow yeah. yours. And you don't want to let your buddy borrow it or your brother. So yeah. just give him one. Yeah. So mine's work great. I power washed my entire concrete patio. I power washed my truck. I power washed my boat. I pretty much power washed everything that I have in my driveway already. Works great. And right now, if you use the code VVPRO, you can get an extra 5% off of that. So that's a really great deal. Thank you, Vever, for sponsoring our video. Make sure to also check out their activity of the month in our video description. Let's get back to work. Look at you, ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> and look at this guy, dead man. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, he was in the ICU yesterday till like died three. like two days yeah. ago. <laughs> no. like, I'm back from the dead. Apparently, it's uh, easy for type ones to get it out of DKA compared to the type twos. Okay. That's what they say. DKA is diabetic ketoacidosis. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's so. where your uh, body produces bad blood acids. Huh. huh. Yeah. That can kill you. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Wow. So, does it just flush out or how does it get rid of it? Well, I got he was on like 25 different yeah, IVs while he was there. <laughs> like, he was, like a blood like, transfusion? He could I had like move. 10 things hooked up to me. I was like just stuck like this for, I feel like I got T-Rex arms now. Like, <laughs> just, well, that'll be good for Peyton. Hey, just put a brush there you go. To Asheville. <laughs> just go. <laughs> All right, let's paint this place. <laughs> Dead man walking. <laughs> I really didn't expect him to be here. I even yeah. told him we'd give him sick pay and he still showed up. You could have got paid the same to not be here. You didn't tell me that. Well, I know I didn't tell you that. It's funnier to be here than sitting at home. Uh -oh. We got, oh man, look at all them boxes. <gasps> oh. One more awesome purchase I made this morning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, it's awesome, all right. Look at this. <laughs> So when they gets paint on them, yeah. you just dial this thing, and the film runs across, and you get clear. You get clear new. Oh my god! Thing. <laughs> and they look cool. So, double bonus. You look like you broke your nose, and they put something on your face to help your broken nose. You guys don't trust me. The spray. I do trust you, but this is what we should do. These guys are doing a fantastic job masking the windows, taping it off, but I'm still not gonna like spray right at the window. I'm gonna use the guard and spray away. This is just to keep incidental mist off of the white. It's very visible. Yeah. I've found in the past when I've sprayed them <laughs> with paint. I mean, you can go look at Jason's truck if you want. Yeah. <laughs> it's still got sprackles from like two years ago mm. from Uriah's. Mm -hmm. it, was like, it was super windy that yeah, day. Yeah, it was like it 40 was like mile an hour wind. Eric's like, we got this. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. This is nice and light here, this guard. Honestly, I don't think I need these goggles. No, wear them, dude. They're I'm not getting any paint on my face. But just, you got better safe than sorry. You, <laughs> you should they definitely were, wear I them. I thought they were more for style than anything. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep this guard from getting really heavy build up, and I think that will help us in the long run. So I bought a bunch of rags to 
just do that and then probably just toss it in the back of Jason's car. <laughs> I was just going to say in the back of Ray's truck. Uh, Ray had you go in the new Ford. Yeah, I got the seat cover, so it'll be all right. how glaringly obvious some of our caulking pinholes that we missed become when we paint it and you can't see it till you paint it yeah i mean john and i walked around last night for like a half hour yeah and with the clear wexel it's really yeah. hard to tell but once you start here there's great spots over here yeah up on the caddy over there up on the top oh yeah yeah like that looked fine till we painted it or like right there so we're yeah. gonna have to come back around touch up caulk and then touch the paint but now at least you can see where we missed the caulk, real easy. Yeah. Just so had to paint it. We had to talk right about caulk when Jamie came in. Yeah. He yelled at us yesterday, make sure you go around and check all the caulking. <laughs> we did, bro, I'm telling you we did. I'm not saying you didn't check it. We just didn't do a good job. I'm spraying up as much as I can to get the underside of the siding lap. Mm -hmm. It's really easy to not spray that and then not notice it till later. So, and we'll see. Ramel paid extra for this paint as well because it said one coat coverage, so we'll see. We've heard that before. And on the last house, we did get it. We did, one so, coat. I think it also depends on what color you tint it and stuff like that and what color the base was, but it's looking pretty good so far. Yeah, this is going you know, kind of darker on a little bit dark, so. <laughs> darker on a little bit dark. I'm what? saying the paint's darker and this is dark. Oh, Jamie told her to buy this paint. Yeah. Because I like it. Because he likes it, okay. 76 bucks a gallon. 76 bucks a gallon was the cost. But if we get it in one coat, that's way cheaper than paying a crew to paint it twice. Yeah. We're going to bust this out in a day. Oh, it's going to be done today. Well, yeah, totally. Stop talking and painting. <laughs> Come on, man. Dude, I gave him a perfect throw. You did give this him. This is what I get coming back. <laughs> Nothing. We had Ramel come by before we got too far painting the house because we've had situations before where we painted the entire house and then the homeowner was like, oh, I hate the color. Yeah. yeah and then we repainted. And we're, and we're like, oh, yeah, but you picked the color, remember? Yeah. yeah so we got to go ahead to keep going and we're gonna keep going she loves it she loves it she loves it and it doesn't matter if anyone else doesn't love it she really loves it she yeah. said it makes her happy so if it makes you happy, happy then why that's what Cheryl so. said crow Cheryl crow mm, yeah. mm -hmm. we're looking pretty promising on our one coat coverage here this is all the way dry now and i mean i don't see what putting a second coat on here is going to do at this point except cost more money so put more paint on. Except so put more paint on. But it doesn't need more paint. It's got like a thick primer already. So I was told by the Lowe's people, single coat. Okay. I mean, it's your house. We'll put a half a coat if you yeah. want. I mean, it doesn't we matter to us. Have to paint it if you don't want us to. Well, if it's if it's covered it and it, you feel that it's adequate. What do you think? It's supposed to be darker. <laughs> but I think maybe I can just live with it being lighter because... I think it looks okay. I've had to muck, excuse me, yeah. with the paint a whole lot. Mm -hmm. I chose to go deal with the paint. Oh, muck. So All right, now I'm coming. It's coming together. Oh, <laughs> Auto correct. Auto correction. <laughs> Jason's giving the sprayer a partial clean, we'll call it. Enough to swap colors to a little bit darker, and we're going to go down below. Oh, yeah. We'll just pump a little bit of paint through there and start in an inconspicuous location. Yeah. Like way under there. Mm. <laughs> Dude, how much do you think that weighs? Not that much. <laughs> no, come on. Give it a try. Come on, big boy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, it's freaking heavy. I bet it weighs. Well, 60 it'd pounds. Be easy to figure out. 50 pounds with the bucket. I can't curl 50 pounds? <laughs> I, Man, guess, I suck. <laughs> I guess not. 50 pounds is heavy. Hmm. 
so our siding panels and the masonry are getting the same color. So right now we're gonna dig this out a little bit and take a broom and clean it, get it ready for paint a little better than it is. Yeah, that's, that's plenty, Jason. I mean, if you're down three or four inches, yeah. Best deal in painting in town. Dude, seriously. Go paint this wall, what, for $20 an hour, and that took one minute, so that was like 45 <laughs> cents. Uh, trust falls, when you like go face away from somebody and you just fall back and hope they catch you. Right. Yeah, this is construction trust fall. <laughs> because if I got up right now, dude, <laughs> I don't think Eric would be do. down about 15 feet. So this is the pure trust. Yeah, yeah, he's trusting me. Bike off of stuff higher than this. Whatever, dude. Now with a paint spray in your hand. <laughs> Getting back here in the bike storage area. Looking good here, but what looks weird now is that we have that zip board color green mixed in with these other two, and it doesn't match. It's way, it's not blue green. So, otherwise, we're looking pretty good. We're gonna need a sacrificial utility knife here. I gotta get this cut and pulled off, I think. Yo, when you go to Lowe's tomorrow, I might need some new blades. <laughs> This is all so low, I'm gonna have to lay on the ground and it's gravel. Dude, so we're thinking. The mines do it all the time just for fun. I think we're gonna lay down a super highway, a zip board here. Save my knees and my hips. Yep, you're good. This looks really, really comfortable. <laughs> you look like a baby seal that hadn't learned how to walk yet. <laughs> I feel like a, like a beached whale. That's something smaller. <laughs> you want your uh, NASCAR glasses? Yeah, that was dirt though. Oh, that didn't help. <laughs> Say one thing, I'm not gonna complain about working up high anymore. Down low is worse. Yeah, laying on your back's not fun. I'm tired. Yeah, that was exhausting for like one foot of paint. You like it? Looks you, good. You just like this done. Really good. <laughs> so good. You painted that part. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wonder why it looks so good. Hee-haw. <laughs> <laughs>